political and financial solidarity with Ukraine, both in Europe and the United States, will be tested in the next few months. But when they consider the alternatives, Western powers should keep supporting Kiev. 2024 will be a crucial year because major elections might end up weakening the unity shown among Ukraine's allies since the beginning of Russia's invasion almost two years ago. A new European Parliament will be elected in June and populist parties might score major victories. The US will elect its president and Congress in November and some Republican circles have already criticized the cost of military and financial aid to Ukraine. Ukraine's allies, however, have much to show for their support so far. Their financial commitments totaled some 230 billion euros by July 2023, more than half of which have already been spent. Europe financed more than half that amount, the US about 30%, most of which in military aid. But Ukraine made good use of that money and the IMF has saluted its economic performance. Inflation is lower than in Europe and the economy is growing faster than expected. And when you ignore the political noise, support to Ukraine comes cheap. So far it amounts to 0.5% of Europe's annual GDP and 0.3% for the US. Remember, this is spread over many years. So once they consider the alternative, facilitating Russia's invasion, Ukraine's allies will remember that their support is a tiny price to pay for standing up to Putin.